Welcome to my sixth video. This video is on finches of India. Before telling you the discussion topics, I would like to thank Jaini Maria ma'am, Catherine Christian ma'am, Kajal Das Gupta sir, Dr. Ashok Patel, Vipul Ramanuj sir, Divyesh Gherwada ji and Milil Kulkarni sir. We will discuss species of finch found in India, their etymology and their basic information. Species of finches. First we'll talk about genera. Genera is the plural for genus, so don't get confused. And the second is species. Coming to genera. In India, there are 37 species of finches. Out of these 37, there are many genuses. There are Agraphosphysa, Bucanetes, Calacanthes, Cardiolis and many more. They are all written here. Out of this, we will cover the first four. Agraphosphysa, Bucanetes, Calacanthes and Cardiolis. The species in these four genera are Blindfazerous finch and Agraphosphysa. Bucanetes, there are two, Mongolian and Trumpeter. Calacanthus has one, Spectacled, and Cardiolis has one, Eastern Goldfinch. Coming to their etymology. Coming to Blindfazerous finch etymology. Blindford was given in honor of English naturalist William Blindford. Rose finch means a rose-like color and finch is a word used by many Greek authors for a very small bird. The voice that you have heard right now is its call. Coming to the scientific name, Agraphosphysa rubescens. You may be confused that why there is only one rose finch. Well, because after doing mitochondrial DNA analysis, which means they did look into the mitochondria, an organelle of a cell. They found that it has a different fluctuation or different patterns in the body, which means it's not a rose finch. Agraphosphysa is agraphos and spiza. Spiza is finch in Greek and agrapho means unwritten because there was nothing written about this finch anywhere. Rubescence means reddish in Latin because of its color. Coming to trumpeter finch. Trumpeter comes from the trumpet player or voice of a trumpet player. This is its voice. Coming to scientific name, Bucanetes Githa genus. Bucanetes means trumpeter in Greek, once again because of its voice. Second is the Githa genus. Githa genus comes from a plant, Agrostema githago, also known as common corn cockle. It was a misunderstanding by Coenred Temenik. He thought that both of the names came from the same meaning. But the Githago meaning is gray, greenish blue, which is totally different from the color of a trumpeter finch. So a big, big misunderstanding. Coming to Mongolian finch. Mongolian means described in Mongolia or found in Mongolia. Mongolia is a country between Kazakhstan, China and Russia. It is found in Central Asia. Bucanetus mongolicus. Bucanetus once again, trumpeter in Greek. Mongolicus because it was described in Mongolia. Coming to spectacle finch. Spectacle finch was named given because it has a spectacle like feature. You can see on its face it has a very red prominent feature. Some people prefer to call it a spectacle. That's why. Calacanthus burtoni is its scientific name. Calacanthus is Kalos and Acanthus. Kalos means beauty in Greek. Acanthus is a small bird in Greek. So, a beautiful small bird. Burtoni was given in honor of Edward Burton. Coming to etymology of Eastern Goldfinch. Eastern is because it is found in Eastern Hemisphere of the world. Goldfinch because it has a golden wing panel. Coming to scientific name. Scientific name is Cardiolis caniceps. Cardiolis is goldfinch for Latin and caniceps is a mixture of canus and seps. Canus means gray in Latin and seps means head in Latin. So gray headed. That's why some people also call it gray headed goldfinch or gray crowned goldfinch. Coming to the basic information. In this I will tell you its ID pointers, range, taxonomy and subspecies. 
coming to Blandford's Rosefinch. It was first described by William Blandford in 1872 at Sikkim and it is monotypic. Monotypic means it has no subspecies. It is only one and only. This is the range. So it comes from central Nepal till north China. It also covers Sikkim, West Bengal, Darjeeling and many northeast Indian states. The main pointers are it has a red head without marks, a wing with no mark and red underparts. Coming to the female, female is quite difficult because it is similar to dark breasted rosins but to differentiate it we have pale underparts, reddish or olive rump and absent or, or they may generally be present but less prominent wing bars. Coming to the trumpeter finch, it was first described by Martin Lichtenstein in 1823 at Egypt. The species we see in India is a different subspecies because the one that can be seen in Egypt is different. This is a very wide range. It comes from West Africa till India, but in India it is only visiting in winters. Coming to its ID pointers. The main ID pointers are its reddish and stout bill, pinkish wash in underparts. Pinkish wash means like the one way with a paintbrush. Coming to female. Now female and male are quite prominent different. It has a pale bill whereas the male has a reddish. It is a paler where the male is much more dashing and prominent. Coming to subspecies. Subspecies is the Bucanetus genius or BG. The first is the nominate or Gita genius. It is only found in Egypt and Sudan. Second is the Zedlitsi, found in Spain, Malta, Libya and Tunisia. Third is Amantum. It is only found in Canary Islands. Grassy rostris are the ones seen in India and the subcontinent and Middle East. Now the subspecies we see in India of the Grassy rostris it was first described by Edward Blith in 1847 in Afghanistan. Mongolian Finch It was first described by Robert Swinehoe in 1870 at Mongolia and also monotypic. This is the range from Iran till Mongolia. It also covers a little bit of Ladakh and Jammu Kashmir. It has a very small bill compared to Trumpeter, a white or buffy string panel and a long tail. Coming to spectacle finch. This is a very spectacular looking bird and it's high on every birder's wish list. It was first described by John Gould in 1838 at Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. Also, it's monotypic. The, this is a range. You can technically say it is endemic to the Indian subcontinent because it is found in some parts of Pakistan otherwise from Jammu Kashmir till Nepal. Coming to the ID pointers, the first ID pointer for a male is black head with red spectacle. Red spectacle is the skin or the feathers around its eye of color red. Second, it will have spots on its wing coverts. Third is its yellow bill. Coming to the female now, on the left is male and right is female. Female has a yellow spectacle, well the red is red one. So that is the main difference. Coming to Eastern Goldfinch. Now you may be confused that if you call it European Goldfinch then why am I calling it Eastern? Because it has been recently split from European Goldfinch. It is currently recognized as Cardiolus caniceps. First it was known as Cardiolus cardiolus. So now it is a split or a different species. This is on the right a European. On the left is Eastern. You can clearly see that European has a very black stripe on its hind neck while the other ones does not have. And the Eastern has a grey crown where the European has a black one. That is the main difference. It was first described by Nicholas Wiggers in 1831 at Almoda. Now this is the range. This range is from Iran to Uttarakhand or Nepal till China, Mongolia and a little part of Russia. Coming to its subspecies and ID pointers. First of all, 
male and female look alike with many minor differences yellow panel on the wing is the first pointer that's why we call it a goldfinch second is the white tarsial third is the red face coming to subspecies base is cardiolus caniceps or cc first is the nominate or caniceps found in india pakistan nepal and china second is subulata found in kazakhstan russia and mongolia third is paropanisi kazakhstan iran afghanistan china and tajikistan fourth is ultima or only found in iran thank you for listening to me and watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video and stay safe from covid 19 stay safe stay home